Welcome to Cloud Dolls. Yes, I have a different logo. I hope you like it. This time I'm coming with a Valentine collaboration with the amazing artists Blurred Call Heart, Stitch Witchy, Arley Doll's House, and me, Cloud Dolls. I will put the link of all the videos down below and don't forget to check them out please they are amazing i get my inspiration in bolts i think they're so cute for this i choose the cutest monster hide the little mouse i cut the hair as usual really short with the heat gun i make the vinyl soft to take the head out of the body and yeah it broke it it's come out but it's it's really simple to fix it it's not the first time i show you how you do it you just take the the neck piece and you insert it again in the neck hole and then with the help of the heat gun you make the plastic soft you just have to bring him to place and you see you don't notice anything plastic is a great thing with my tweezers I scratch the hair from inside of the neck hole and I pull the rest of the hair 100% acetone I take the factory make out and that's how she is but nail polish without acetone is really important because other way you will melt the plastic you clean all the fat and dusty and they are ready now with my mask and mr super clear i give it a layer to the body let it dry for 30 minutes this pearl paint in the color pink i'm gonna give her a layer of pearly shiny finish and of course I let it dry I have to give her some pans so with my pearl pink acryl paint I will paint the panties well I work in the dentist and I was walking around and then I saw this and I was like <gasps> It's perfect for my mouse. So I pick him up, I brought it home, I paint it with silver color, I gave it two layers and then I protect it with two layers of glossy varnish. Again, with my Mr. Super Clear and my mask, don't forget it is really toxic. I give it three layers to the face, let it dry for 30 minutes, and with my watercolor pencils and my soft pastels Rembrandt, I'm gonna start the face. First of all, bling bling. Yes, I'm gonna give her a layer of acrylic pearl pigment in white color. Then, with my purple and pink soft pastel I started giving her some blush in the cheeks in the nose and the forehead with a light pink pencil I start to give it some shape to the eyes I want to give her pink eyes And then with the light gray, I start sketching on top of it when I'm satisfied with the result. Don't forget that the pencils, they have to be really sharp because you're gonna do really, really fine lines in the face of the doll because the doll is really small. I start to build the sclera with white pencil and the color of the eyes with different shades of pink. I give it the dark color in the top of the eye and then in the bottom layer I go with the lighter. 
with some soft pastels. I mark where I want the high brows and again with a really sharp pencil I start drawing some fine hairs. I'm gonna give her a different color of uh, eyebrows to match the hair. I'm gonna start with the yellow, orange and finish with red. And of course we cannot forget the ears to blush the ears with the same pastels, pink and purple. And I continue to build the face of my doll, giving some highlights with white pencil to give it more deep. And now it's time for the bottom eyelashes with a really fine pencil. And with the black soft pastel I give her the shadow of the top eyelashes. With pearl pink acryl paint I give her some details and some shiny to the eyes, to the nose and to the lips with a really fine brush. The best brush that you can use it is the one that we use for the nail art. And finally with my white acryl I paint her teeth. The sclera and I give her some eye catches. And also the ears. And look the amazing color hair that I choose for her. As usual, I will start from the bottom with my hot glue and I go around the head and I build it the wig until the top of the head. As usual, all of the materials that I use they are in the description box below. What did you eat for Valentine? I make a dinner with my husband and my daughter with candle lights and hearts and lollipops and chocolate. Wrap it in the plastic and leave it for the night and I hope it will be okay the other day. And then the other day I open and no, it's not okay. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna make my mess hot with my hair straightener. And it didn't work. Now I try directly with a hair straightener. And it didn't work. And at this moment I was starting to get desperately and hoping that the hair doesn't melt 
and then I remember to maybe I will try it with a little bit of match pot dilute it in a lot of water and I'm gonna try to bring her in place and with my metal stock that I make it warm with a hair straightener I try to put it in place and finally it works <sighs> now I want to give it two little ponytails in both sides of the head I open them up a little bit And they look so cute. With the satin roses in white color, I'm gonna decorate the hair. I will attach it with some uh, red pins to give it a pop of color to the roses. And with this satin dark brown lace, I will decorate it the ponytails. I will do the same for the rest of the elastics. In both sides. If you don't know how to make a little bowl, I will let you see. You pick up a fork and then you go around with the ribbon. The side that is behind is bigger. Then you go and insert it in the middle of the fork teeth and then you push it in the front and you give it a knot. You close it like this. You take it out of the fork and you have the perfect little bowl. It's so cute. I choose these weirdings in gold color with the letters love on it that I think it's perfect for her. Now with this fabric, a white one with the hearts, I'm gonna build the dress. I will fold them in four and then once again more and then I cut it around it to make the shape of the rounded skirt. In the middle to make the back side of the dress. With this white satin lace. And with some filter, I will close it in the back side like this. And now I'm gonna apply the lace of the skirt in the end of the satin top. I make a ruffle of the skirt and then I sew it. And I also sew it a tutu that I made for her with tool and a white lace. I attach it also a bottom skirt 
that I'm gonna embellish also with the same lace that I use in the top skirt. I attach it in the end with some pins. And then I sew it around. I'm gonna embellish the dress with these sequences and look what I bought. This vinyl from Arteza, amazing. And I choose these colors to make the bows. I cut a strip of the vinyl and with my cutting with a lace shape, I make little bows for her to decorate the dress. like this and I go all around the bottom skirt for the touch I give her in the waist this brown satin lace I want to give her a choker that I'm gonna use a little strip of vinyl that I'm gonna glue it directly on her neck. And I finish it with a little satin brown bowl. With the same roses, I'm gonna embellish the dress. I'm gonna apply them in the waist. And it's time to put the tail on place. With hot glue, I insert it in the hole. With the same fabric, of the dress, I will make her bowl for her tail. Then I'm gonna finish with the same brown satin lace and the same rose. And with hot glue, I insert it in the hole of the tail to fix it. I want to give her a bracelet in gold color, and I'm gonna use this gold chain. I pick up her shoes, I'm gonna customize them. I cut it the top of it, and now I'm gonna give it two layers of white gesso and I will finish it with two layers of silver acryl and I will finish with this brown bolt and with a vinyl bolt also. It's time to put the body together to the head.
I have these eyelashes for dolls that I bought like a year ago I don't like them too much I tried them once and uh, yeah because they are too thick you see it but I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna give it another chance with some tacky glue I will try to put them because they really match with the hair but uh, uh, no, no, definitely they don't work, forget it. Come back to the old doll eyelashes and look how easy it is to put them just a little bit with tacky glue and the help of a pin and they are perfect. Are you ready to see Valentine? Here she is. I hope you like her. I love her. Thank you for following me in my journey of doll customizer. Thank you for all of the support, all of the comments. Thank you to my fellow artists for this amazing collaboration. This doll is going to be available in my Etsy shop. You found the link below in the description box. And don't forget to check the videos of the other artists. They also have the link below in the description box. And I see you next time in my next video. Bye!